Hey, Divi Nation, thanks for joining us in our documentation section to learn all about Divi's text module. This is probably our most commonly used module, and it's incredibly powerful. So not only can you, you guessed it, enter in basic text and uh, content, it's more or less like the WordPress editor on steroids because you can enter in all the normal content you could on the normal WordPress editor, but you can also add tons of design features and customizations from the design tab, which we'll dive into in this video. So check it out. In this video, I'm gonna give a brief overview of Divi's text module. Now the text module is perhaps the most powerful module available in the Divi Builder. You're probably gonna use it more than any other module out there. And with it, text can be added anywhere on your web page. Uh, the text modules can be placed within any column type and you can combine them with other modules uh, and they can make for some truly dynamic page layouts. Each text module comes equipped with all of the editing capabilities of a normal WordPress page and a WYSIWYG editor. And it can be used to create even the smallest bit of text within a complex layout. Or if you want, it can be used with a full width column to create an entire page just with one text module. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the text module. Um, I'm editing a custom post right now using the visual builder. And as I scroll down, you can see the text module displaying a variety of texts. Uh, you can see it displaying a header here. Uh, you can see it displaying a small snippet of text here to the left of this image. Uh, you can see it here displaying a quote. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom, um, it can even be used to display these small, small snippets of text here, that, you know, helping to display some uh, featured posts here in a custom section. Let's scroll back up and let's take a closer look at the text module settings. If I hover over my text module and click on the settings icon, you can see um, I have my content, design, and advanced tabs all available to edit my text uh, settings. So under my content tab, I have this helpful WYSIWYG editor uh, that looks you know, just like your uh, normal WYSIWYG editor when editing a page or post within WordPress. Uh, the difference is here, now you have that same functionality uh, within each of these text modules. So it makes editing text a whole lot easier. If you don't want to use the visual tab to edit your text, you can also click on this text tab here where you can write your own HTML uh, to add text to your page and add more custom elements as well. All right, so right now, as you can see, my text is has been entered here. Um, and most of my styling, though, is not taking place here within the WYSIWYG editor, although you could. Um, the more most of the design in this header is going to is taking place in the design tab, which we'll get to in a second. But continuing on in our content, tab. Let's look down here. We can add uh, the option to add a background to my text module if I wanted to. Um, that adds a blue background to my text module, but I want to go ahead and keep it white for now. Let's go see what's available in the design tab. The design tab has a lot more options. Um, as you can see, the option to change the text, change the header text, um, the difference there is uh, right now, if I go back to my content tab and I look at my text that I've actually entered here, you'll notice that um, I have no H1 tag applied to it. Um, if I was using the visual tab, um, you know, I didn't go in here and add a, a heading one uh, there. If I did, uh, this would need to be edited using the header text, not the regular body text options here. So there's a distinction there in case you are, um, maybe you're trying to, maybe you're using it as a header, but you really don't have the H1 tag applied. Um, you might get confused um, and try to edit the, the header text when it actually isn't a header. Um, so make sure that if you want to use this as a header, and um, we do in this case, so you want to make sure that the header text is being used to edit it. All right, 
Uh, so let's go back and change our content. And let's go ahead and place a H1 tag on this snippet of text. That way, this will serve as our header. And let's go to our design tab, move this over a little bit so you can see better. And if I go to my text settings, um, I can change my overall text color. Um, this would apply to both my text, uh, body text and header text. So if I wanted to change it from light to dark, I could there and it would change. But if I wanted to change the color here, I couldn't because um, I'm trying to edit an H1 tag header, which I can't. This only applies to if it's a body text. Um, so let's go down to our header text and we can make some customizations here. Let's go and change our header font to, let's change it to Source Sans Pro. Let's make it all uppercase and let's increase the font size to, let's make it pretty big. Let's make it 92 pixels and let's also make it bold. And so there you go. Now that I have uh, my H1 tag, I've edited it using the header text settings and it now matches the design of my site. Uh, other options uh, include uh, the header text color. If I wanted to add more text spacing or excuse me, letter spacing to my header and the line height as well. And a lot of these options also apply to the standard uh, body text here. If I wanted to change the orientation of my header text, I could do that as well. Maybe if I wanted it centered, keep it left aligned for now. Uh, other options include a border. If I wanted to uh, choose to use a border and uh, maybe increase that border width and change the border style to a solid, um, that can be done very easily. Um, also, the you know standard setting to change the sizing of your module or the alignment of your module, uh, you can do that here add any custom spacing to your text module and of course add an animation to your module here if you wanted to. Uh, also you have your standard advanced tab here which includes the op option to add your unique CSS IDs and classes to target it to add style additional styling to your text module. And some custom CSS here um, you can right here I'm adding a custom you know, font weight to my element. Um, just target it here using some inline custom CSS if you want. And of course the visibility. Let's go ahead and save our settings here. And let's go down and see how else our text module is being used here. If I click on my text module settings, you can see that uh, much like you would do in a normal page or post, um, the header is actually included along with the paragraph of text here. Right now I'm in the text tab so you can see what's going on. Um, I have a, a header, uh, an H5 header, uh, which is used to style in using some inline styling here to make this uh, number one here. And I also have a paragraph of text underneath. So as you can see, it's a useful feature here to add some custom HTML to your text to kind of, you know, create unique styles of fonts and texts within the actual WYSIWYG editor. And let's go down and see how this quote is being generated. If I click on my text module settings, uh, you can see I simply put in the, the quotations around some text and then I targeted it. Uh, the design that is through the design tab and you know I increased the font size to 48 changed my text font to Sans Source Pro uh, and that's about it and in, in, in just a few options you can change your uh, text into a nice looking quote let's go ahead and exit out of that and that concludes our overview of the Divi text module